it was April this year, so I said to him when we got the diagnosis, he said, what do you want? And I said, I want to get married. I want to have the same surname as my children. He said, you want to get married? And he went and got me my ring. We had about 70 guests, all of my favourite people. And I stayed until the very bloody end of that wedding. I was exhausted and I was tired, but I was not going home. My husband put me in the wheelchair and tucked me in with all my blankies and pushed me home because we got married at the pub that was two doors up from our house, nice and simple. And he pushed me home and that was our wedding. He is the most quietly spoken man who does not tell anybody how he's feeling. He doesn't ask for any help. He is just there every day when I need him. We have talked to our children. My son is obviously, he's four. He does not understand. He was actually laying in my arms yesterday and he said to me, Mommy, are you going to die? And I said, yes, darling, I am going to die. And he said, I don't want you to die, Mummy. And I said, I don't want to die either, darling. My daughter is eight, so she understands a bit more. She um, says to me, do you still have cancer, Mummy? I say, yes, darling, I still have cancer. She says, I don't want you to have cancer. Say, I don't want to have cancer either, sweetheart. What else is there to say? I've created a garden at home that's my garden now and I've filled it with all flowers that will come back year after year in all my favourite colours, my favourite flowers for my kids so they'll be able to look at Mummy's garden. All I knew was what the word palliative meant, that you're dying. I didn't know all the little things that come with palliative, which these amazing people deal with on a daily basis. They are there for me every moment of every day. When my family aren't there, they are the ones that I call. These guys are just amazing at making me smile. They would do anything for me.